we'll start off on my right to your left. We have our Daytona wings, one of our top selling wings. It's a sweet, spicy barbecue after it's tossed, it's charred on the grill. Then in the middle, we have our shareable pretzel and protein. That's two IPA marinated brats with our pretzel sticks that's chopped in half and quarter length. So you can build yourself a nice little pre uh, pretzel bratwurst sandwich. Then these right here are our special wing sauce of the week uh, that we got going right now. It's the Granny Smith apple wing sauce. Um, then obviously our famous tots that we are doing for the charity for Toys for Tots. Bring in a toy, get one of these bad boys for free. Cruising down the street in my sixth fall. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. I'm your huckleberry. Uh -uh. Hey everybody, you don't know me, but I'm on TV, so you can trust me. I'll be like, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think she just got here. Let's go check. No, we haven't done. Yeah, there she is. Hey. Hi, Rob. Love oh to my see. God. Yeah. Oh my God, it's, it's been exciting. so long. Yeah, it's been too long. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to be back here doing a podcast and uh, get invited to the Fat Rabbit here oh, in New Tampa. Oh, I know. I love the Fat Rabbit. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How have you been? Good, good. You? Yeah. Busy, busy. Yeah, I know. I know. We're both kind of busy, but... Uh-huh. Uh, at least we can make some time for I you know, know this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what they're doing with Toys for Tots. I hope we get some tots while we're here. Oh, we're gonna get some tots. Ooh. I know uh, Cole told me before he was gonna get us set up and cooking, you know, cooking for us. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, oh, thank let's do you. it. All right, cool. Hey, Cole. How you doing? Good. Cole. Yeah, we're so excited. Excited for some tots. All right, let's cool. Start this. Start that. Okay. Three, two, one. Welcome to the This Is. Oh my. All right. Start over. Three, Three two, <laughs> one. Welcome to the This Is Tampa podcast with Rob. And I'm Jen. And today we have a very special returning guest, Mr. Cole McBride, the executive chef. Uh, fat rabbit thank you for having me here yes, yes of thank course you. Thank, thank you for being here oh yeah definitely why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about your role here and uh you know kind of introduce everybody that maybe isn't familiar with you because you spend a lot of time in the kitchen right <laughs> I, uh my name is cole mcbrod i'm the executive chef here at the fat rabbit um been here since day one uh created a menu from the sauces to the appetizers to the entrees to now we're doing desserts. I make a homemade brownie in-house now. Um, I've taken over doing like the beer, liquor orders, stuff like that. So I'm pretty much doing about day-to-day -day operations here, but still mainly in the back, dealing with the kitchen and just create new items. Very cool, very cool. I know you're always creating new items. You're very uh, creative with, with the, the items on the menu, which is good because it's always bringing me back through the door. So I know that. <laughs> yeah, if you don't follow the Fat Rabbit on Facebook, you definitely have to do that because they're always posting their new menu creations, and it's just drool worthy. So yeah, and, and, and follow Cole uh, McBride as well on, on Facebook, and you'll yep. see like he's he's doing barbecue competitions and all kinds of stuff yep. he's posting on there, and, and posting his new wings, which I can't wait to try. Best wings in Tampa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a new one coming out today. It's a Granny Smith hot sauce made with. Obviously, fresh Granny Smith apples, uh, jalapenos, a little ginger, garlic, shallots, uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, I actually caramelized uh, green apples and Captain Morgan brown sugar mm. and a little allspice just to give it that nice sweet and tartness from the apple. So wow. that's coming out today at 4 o'clock. So stop on in and try it out. Yeah. And uh, today is what? We should probably should say that. <laughs> November 17th, right? <laughs> 2021. <laughs> so you better hurry because uh, I mean they come and they go, right? Oh, I mean they're limited edition, and he means it. So definitely check that out. How do you come up with these recipes, Cole? I don't know. It's just it's it's, it's one of the passions I have. I love making wing sauces. 
before, like, I've always just been, like, strictly doing spicy, doing Carolina Reapers, the Scorpion, to Ghost Peppers. But lately, I've been tapping into doing a lot of fruit hot sauces. I've used blueberries. I've used pineapple, um, cherries. I did pomegranate one time. Um, I, I'm trying to tap into doing that, giving people more of a, a flavor uh, wing instead of, uh, oh, it's just another hot one. Like, mm -hmm. this is something that's going to have a lot of flavor. You know, I have some heat on the back end. Depends on what kind of pepper I use. Um, but I just want people to more enjoy what they're eating um, instead of, like, Wow, this is hot. Yeah, yeah like the standard. I didn't catch what I was like, about to say first. <laughs> right, everywhere else. Well, you can. I mean, this isn't for children necessarily, but <laughs> at least when I put it on YouTube, it's not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can say. I mean, it's hot as f, but because I, I, I mean, some of them were like really hot. I can't remember what I had last time, but boy, I was like sweating. That's awesome. Yeah, I think the hottest one I've done was a Scotty Too Hotty, and it was about four million on the Scoville units. Ooh. So that was definitely one of the spicier ones I've done. They had a blend of three peppers of a Carolina Reaper, Scorpion, and a Black Mama pepper. And it oh comes my. with a half gallon of milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you've got milk behind the bar in addition to all the beers you offer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One, oh. of, one of the uh, awesome things that I love when I come here is the smoked... Um, a screwball like whatever an old-fashioned oh, I mean I get the peanut butter old-fashioned but I don't know if you've seen it yet uh -huh. but the whole presentation is is it's unlike anything else uh, around that oh. I've seen I'll make one later so y'all can get that on the clip and all that yeah, cool. yeah so we actually smoke our old fashions in a dome now and we deliver wow. it to the table so when we would take it to the table take the dome off the smoke and all that comes out from it oh my so god it's definitely been a, a crowd pleaser because it it drives people when they see it, and all of a sudden they're smelling it. It's like, well, what is that? Mm. And it, since we implemented that, our craft cocktails of our old fashions went from, just say, like 20% to about 40%. Because yeah. more people see it and they're smelling it, and it just drives more people in to have that. Wow. So. That's so creative. How do you come up with all these fun ideas? It seems very overwhelming to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually stole that from a, a show. They were uh, doing um, craft cocktails like that, and I've seen that. And, I just told our owners, I was like, why don't we try this out? Because it, it'll drive people in because they're going to see it, they're going to smell it, and they're like, all right, I want that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And delivering it to the table, it just more gives more of that aroma. Like, carrying it through the restaurant, people are seeing that looking like, it's just an eye of people. So. Yeah, like the Chili's fajitas. <laughs> yes, you hear that sizzle. Uh -huh. so. Signature things, but that's it. I mean, people look for an experience when they come out. It's not just about the food. And I think you're providing that. Like, you're... I think it's fair to say the creative influence behind not only just the food, but also, you know, coming up with that was definitely a real good idea. I mean, there's not a lot of places in New Tampa, Bruce Bay Downs, who offer craft cocktails and have a pub that's strictly you make everything in house. Everything else, you're like, you go to places like it's store bought, bag bought, right. whatever, how they do it. But we want the experience of people coming in and enjoying great food good drinks uh, great music and a little chill atmosphere like I mean yeah we so. ne definitely needed that in New Tampa for so long so it's great that you guys are here and hopefully you're around for many many years to come for good yeah. well we just signed a uh, well I can't say we the owners just signed a new three-year lease so we're gonna be here at least for another Yay. three years yeah. um, so that's going that's great so you gotta keep that creative mind going you know, <laughs> keep on creating always for three more years the pressure's on now well i'm getting ready to bring back the uh fresh catch i'm gonna start doing the fresh seafood again oh, nice. so from scallops to groupers to swordfish to halibut to whatever is coming in fresh i'm gonna start doing that again so it's gonna be different items different looks every week it might be a sandwich or it might be a platter or it might be an appetizer it's all just gonna vary from week to week and that should be starting right after the new year Oh, that's awesome. I remember last time we were here, you were talking about that and how you get everything fresh as far as the seafood and then all, really all the ingredient, ingredients for the most part. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, burgers are a short rib uh, brisket blend patty, comes in fresh. Uh, chicken are free range chicken. Uh, wings are no hormones, no steroids or anything like that. We got big jumbo wings. Uh, sauces, I make everything in house from the ranch to blue cheese to all the wing sauces we have. Uh, then the produce, like produce comes in two, three times a week, and when it comes in, we prep it up and we go for it. It's like by the time Sunday rolls around, there's nothing in my cooler. It's just empty. Wow. And it's the way it should be because that you know you have fresh ingredients going through 
the whole week is because you're getting it every time you need it. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's awesome. So um, one of the things also that I love, and I have to get <laughs> every single time, and is the reason I go home with a full belly, is and a buzz, is <laughs> <Keep> <laughs> because of the cocktail, uh, the pretzel, the the pretzel and. You're doing something that I haven't seen anywhere else in Tampa as far as the different offerings on the pretzel. The different styles. Yeah, we have the four different styles. You have the no salt, salt, everything, and sriracha pretzel. Um, big 10 ounce jumbo pretzels come with a uh, beer cheese and spiced mustard. Um, also, we have now started, I'm not sure if you've seen it, is the pretzel sticks. Mm. So we have pretzel sticks where we do a pretzel fight so you can get a line of each so you can try it. So you get. Two, uh, three two ounce pretzels and one has salt one has everything one has sriracha or you mix and match you two salt two sriracha I mean whatever the uh, pick your poison is Man, on it yeah. I um, just get that thing is like this big the oh my god that huge. sounds so good then the, the newest offering we also have on it is the pretzel protein you get pretzel sticks with a IPA marinade broth cook that up Ooh. chop it up and the pretzel is actually cut in half cut into six pieces so you can actually build yourself a little bratwurst pretzel sandwich Wow. And that's a big hit for a big parties of four to six because you get two brats and three pretzels that's cut up on a plate and served with spicy mustard and regular mustard. Yeah, so that's, that's, that was all your idea too? Uh, that one was actually uh, the owner, Sean, because oh, I yeah. guess uh, years ago, I'm, I'm going to say 10, 15 years ago, Stonewood used to have that and they got rid of mm. it. And he's been wanting that, so I pretty much brought it back for him. Wow, cool. so, sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Well, another popular thing are your tots. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, rolling, perfectly rolling in there, right? <laughs> yeah, personally, I've been here with my girlfriends, and they always want to order the tots as an appetizer. They're perfectly crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside, perfectly salted. And speaking of your tots, I know you have an event coming up. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? All right, so we are actually just paired up with uh, Marine Toys for Tots. Um, so if you bring in a toy, you're getting a small order of tots to go with it. Um, then on top of that, like it's just it's for a good cause. It's for charity for people with less fortunate who can't give to their kids or people who just don't have the opportunity to have a Christmas. So we just started offering it. Um, come in, you bring in a toy, get a, a small order of tots on us. Um, it goes all the way up to December 10th. Um, then also on December 1st, we're doing a ugly sweater night Ooh. for the um, Marines Toys for Tots. We're gonna have reps here from Kronbacher to Town Branch to Cavalier to Big Storm. Um, they're gonna come in here, give away some of their merchandise also. Uh, Pepin's gonna be here. They're gonna give away uh, Bucks beer glasses. So order a drink, you get to keep the pint to yourself. Um, but I mean, the big thing is, the kids like we want to race like get toys in here and just so kids will actually have something to do like for christmas that's awesome yeah that's 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 real awesome so what night is that event uh it's gonna be on a wednesday night um that night i'm gonna do a bunch of different wing sauces for everybody to try uh it's just i'm gonna match with the theme of ugly sweater night so i'm gonna do like christmas flavors type wing sauces and it, so, it's open to the public or open to the public uh from the time we open up at four to we close uh reps are gonna be in in and out between the cavalier the town branch and all that um i'm also doing a collab with uh eric from voodoo chef i'm um, taking some of his bloody mary mix and making a bloody mary out of it he's gonna be in here doing a podcast as well that night um just to talk about it to get the word out even more for it so cool is AJ coming from Big Storm? <laughs> we had a podcast with him a while ago. Uh, I'm not sure who's actually coming. I just know Big Storm is coming. Yeah. Oh, they've so. got good beer. Yeah, yeah, That's so, yeah. awesome. So Wednesday, December 1st, mm -hmm. from 4 to 11 p.m., yes, bring your toy, you get some tots, and then you also have tons of awesome things to do while you're here. The beer, the different Christmas-flavored wings. Mm -hmm. You might as well just, you know, start with the pretzel and work your way through the right. menu until you get to the brownie. <laughs> Don't eat all day. Just wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of stuff to do. And plus, it's all the samples and all that that the rep's going to be giving out. Um, and it's just, it's going to be a great event. It's, it's for the community. It's for charity. It's like, you just can't beat it. I mean, it's yeah. just, we're looking forward to just giving back. That's awesome. Well, it's very important for our local businesses, yeah. you know, to give back to the community, especially the past couple of years. There's a lot of families that might not be able to 
purchase Christmas gifts for their children. So this is something that you're really going to make a lot of impact on many people's lives this season. So thank you for doing that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we look forward to that. I know where I'll be December 1st. <laughs> so, uh, I know. I'll be here for sure, right? Yeah. Well, I'll get a babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be here too. <laughs> get yourself a, get the, the double mint sitting uh, babysitter. Yes, double mint there. sitting. I'm calling you next. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, oh, that's awesome. Uh, you know, like we, we touched on this on our last podcast uh, with, with the Kate girl and um, like what kind of things have you done throughout COVID um, to, to, actually, to get through it? Like what, how have you adapted and like how's it going now, paying off maybe? I mean, I, I think the biggest adaption that we made was how could we make sure we kept people coming in the door? Um, the owners did great with the regulars that we have. We've we've given back to them. We've uh, owner Sean. He has made numerous times shirts with the regulars' names on, like a fat rabbit shirt that had their name on it. Um, I mean, our regulars have been our biggest reason why we're still here. And plus, our owners. I mean, they did everything possible to make sure we the doors stay open. Um, then it just then it came to the staff, to my kitchen guys, and all that always serving a great dish because you're not going to have a place if you serve bad food or serve bad drinks or bad service nobody's going to want to come back right so we definitely made sure that between the bartenders the servers the cooks always make sure you give it your all when you're in here and make sure that every dish is right or every drink is right just so they're coming back and then just knowing our regulars just make sure like here i'm gonna buy you a drink this time you're in here or i'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this for you or uh, just like the shirts, the shirts was a great idea. I mean, I think we give away like 70 shirts to our regulars with their wow. names on it. Like we got their full names and all that, had them printed on their shirts. That's awesome. Um, yeah. That, Did you find yourself doing a lot of takeout for a while or I know that was kind of a trend. Yeah. Takeout was huge. Takeout was still actually really big. Cause I mean, obviously people are still like iffy about going out and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but yeah, takeout was huge for us. We were doing numbers that it blew my mind like how much takeout we were actually doing i'm like all right i was like this is this is wow. how it's going to be um but now i think i think more of the struggle now is like a lot of these companies uh who produce like certain stuff between like to-go boxes straws or even if it's like certain sauces and stuff like that they're struggling right now to get product like there's been times where we's like well we don't have it yeah and it's just nothing we can do about it so we always try to the best thing possible to make sure we're still giving that full service to the customers when they come in. Mm -hmm. I think another a challenge that everybody's dealing with, and I don't know how you're dealing with it, is uh, the, the shortages, employee shortages. Um, that you have, I mean, I, every time I come in, it seems like I see the same group of folks, mm -hmm. you know, same bartenders, uh, some of the same servers and stuff like that. Uh, has that been a challenge? How, um. how have you adapted? For kitchen wise, I actually have my same staff since pre COVID. Wow. So, I mean, that's one, I guess, reason why the kitchen hasn't faltered because I've had the same staff. Uh, front of the house, I mean, it was a challenge. Like, we lost a uh, bar manager, we lost a couple bartenders, some service, stuff like that. It was a challenge at first trying to get them, but we're fully staffed up now. We've been fully staffed for a few months now, so it's, it's been great. Like, just having employees here and wanting to work. I mean, I feel bad for some of the businesses who had to shut down because they couldn't get nobody. But I mean, we've been blessed here to have our staff. Uh, I've been blessed to have my same kitchen staff since pre-COVID. So it's it's been good. Um, that's awesome. Well, that's a, just a testament to the work environment and the you know, yeah, the ownership yeah, yeah. and especially your regulars. They probably are you know very vocally appreciative and everything to the staff. So. That's great. A lot of businesses right now can't say that. Yes. So right. you guys are doing a good thing in the community. So what do you, what do you think um, is, is future plans? Uh, any kind of insight on maybe moving forward? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's been talks of a liquid rain store down in oh, Sarasota. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I mean, I don't know the full story, but I've heard uh, one of the owners, John, he's talked about uh, they just signed the lease with Publix, and I guess they're looking at possibly having a Lakewood Ranch store. That'd be, oh, that's uh, that'd be good for Lakewood Ranch, right? <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't take you away from us here in New Tampa. I essentially probably be both locations. Yeah. Um, 
obviously Lakewood Ranch more closer to the ocean. It'll be more probably more seafood heavy than like how here it's more burgers, sandwiches heavy. Like it'll be more seafood, right? Which is good because I've been I do a lot of stuff with seafood as it is. So. Ooh, well, you have to share some of your recipes with us <laughs> <laughs> from the Lakewood Ranch location. Oh, that's so cool! Wow, yeah, that's, that's good big, for you guys. Uh, that could be big news. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they definitely picked the location as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, between here and there, and yeah, yeah, I'd like to see a lot of fat rabbit places popping up. Yeah. <laughs> Cole will busy. never sleep. <laughs> Cole, please step into this, uh, you know, chamber so we can clone you. Uh, right. <laughs> that I mean, would be. I have, I have a couple guys in my kitchen who's, who's just waiting, uh, chopping at the bit to have an opportunity like this. So. Oh, good for them. You guys should do a fat rabbit cookbook. <laughs> It's funny, as I've actually been thinking about like starting, because I mean, I have tons of recipe for wing sauces. I've been thinking about to really actually start to really hunch down and just like start really writing the recipes, writing the full details out. Because I'm thinking about getting with the owner, see if I can actually do a hot sauce recipe book here and have it up there for sale and stuff like that and just see where it goes from there. That would be, be cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would buy it. Me too. <laughs> for sure. Two I mean, customers <laughs> right here. <laughs> I mean, I have over probably over 100 different wing sauces. So. Yeah, you should definitely put that in. Yeah. Book. So. For sure, the the book of wing sauces or whatever by Cole. Here he goes, Cole's <laughs> wing sauces. Oh my gosh! Well, that's awesome. Well, it's great to know that Fat Rabbit has been thriving as much as possible in this environment that we've been in for mm-hmm. so long with COVID and everything. It's great to see that you guys are giving back to the community because that's so important. Um, it's great to know you guys are fully staffed. So if anyone is looking for a great night out and they don't want to sit and wait. You know, like many other places, Fat Rabbit will definitely be able to accommodate you. And they're growing. That's even better news. Mm-hmm. Uh, to see, you know, growth out, you know, coming out of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. So awesome. that's my favorite part. So are you, uh, what are you thinking? You want to do a, a, a light? This is Jen's favorite part, the lightning round. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's do the lightning round. Have you All did right. the lightning round last no, time? No, really. Oh, okay. Well, All right. Now you got to do it. All right. Yeah. So what the lightning round is is we su- subject our guests to um, a barrage of questions, and you have to answer like fast as lightning, like right. our Tampa Bay lightning. All right. <laughs> um, and you don't really have much time to think about it. All right. But, let's do it. All right. Okay. So here we go. Let's, let's serious. Let's, let's serious. <laughs> He's ready. He's prepared. <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite wing sauce you make? Uh, Buffalo Garlic Ranch. Ooh. All right. Favorite customer wing sauce. Uh, probably the PB and J wings. Oh, that's what I had. That's yeah, right up Rob's time. alley. Yeah, I did. I had that last. <laughs> you know, I've, uh, it says peanut butter on it. I gotta have it. <laughs> um, favorite non-wing menu item? Oh, crap. Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, uh, Bucks, Lightning, or Rays? None. None. Oh! Oh, I'm a Detroit fan. Oh, um, there you go. Well, we forgive you because you have good wings. <laughs> I mean, if I pick, if I pick, it'll be the Lightning, as long as they're not playing my Red Wings. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you Michiganders are very loyal to your sports teams. Yeah. I have noticed. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's a death to me with the Lions. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Sadist almost. Oh gosh. Uh, Tampa or St. Pete? Uh, Tampa. Okay. Uh, North Tampa or South Tampa? Oh, North Tampa. I don't like South Tampa that oh, much. <laughs> I mean, okay. in my younger days, yes, but... Yeah. No, not Once anymore. you have kids, it sometimes that changes. Yeah, I would definitely say that. Definitely kids change that one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite restaurant that is not the Fat Rabbit? Ooh. Oh, man. That's really put me on the spot. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't go out that much. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Outback. Oh, that's a good one. What's your favorite menu item at Outback? Believe it or not, it's their wings. Oh, <laughs> their wings are good. The kookaburra wings. Yeah, I, I really <laughs> like their wings. They do have good wings, but you have better ones. So, yeah. Sorry, they only have one flavor. <laughs> yeah. It's done right though. I yeah, mean, if you good. if you do one wing and do it right, I mean, great. You mm-hmm. should do a spinoff of that. There you go. Hundred and one recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh gosh! Uh, I'm out of questions. Anyone? That's it. Your lightning question? Yeah. No, I, I'm just enjoying the answers. <laughs> uh, 
I was just thinking about the peanut butter wings. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that's what I had, and there's spice to it as well. Yeah. They were like surprisingly spicy. Yeah, I do a spin on an Asian style peanut sauce with a habanero marmalade. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's good. I had them. Uh, the only other place I had them was up in Inlet, New York. They have like a peanut butter uh, chicken wing. I've never seen it until I saw it on the menu here. And I was like, you know, I'm getting it. That sounds good. <laughs> you know oh me, my gosh. It's peanut butter whiskey and peanut butter wings. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I had uh, one of the beers is a peanut butter something. Oh, I don't know which one you're talking about. That one actually, we went through that one in four days. Oh, really? Oh, I believe wow. it. That, that one kicked quick. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, that peanut butter one was good. Wow. Um, but, yeah, uh, I have no uh, questions. Oh. <laughs> I think your lightning round was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. A little rusty, but... Yeah, we're, you rusty, were pretty good. So you got to bear with us. Pretty fast. So the restaurant one, that that one caught me off guard because yeah, I took a lot to have lunch. <laughs> the restaurant one, we were like, ah, uh, uh, a little. Outback's a good answer, and they're locally owned too. So, you know, keep it local here in Tampa Bay. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so now that brings us to one of my favorite segments, which is the non-Florida man story. Ooh. Which, if you're not familiar with the non-Florida man story, it's a Florida man like story you know Florida's uh, always getting a bad rap for Florida man so you know my goal in life is to raise awareness that <laughs> it's not just Florida that has Florida man but everywhere has as Florida man uh, you know because I catch a lot of grief from my my family uh, outside of the state oh it's another Florida man whatever so <laughs> We're not all crazy. We're not all crazy. So what I do is I, I find a, a story, and this one actually came from um, the radio. It's uh, Chuck, Chuck the Freak. I don't know if you ever listen to their show in the mornings. And uh, what I, you guys haven't heard it, so we're going to get your natural reaction to it. Exciting. Yeah, you're hearing it for the first time here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Artie. This is terrible. All right, so the the title is DoorDash Driver. This is on Fox 11, so I don't feel bad about reporting. <laughs> oh DoorDash Driver defecates in customers' residential lobby after dropping off food order. Gross. Why? And there's a video of it. Uh, of course, I, oh, I won't God. subject you to that. We do not need to see a video. No, I mean, I think you pretty much know what happens there. But <laughs> it says a door dash driver, and by the way, I named this Dashing for the Trash Can. <laughs> so I don't know if it was, uh, you know, done uh, because she just had an emergency or if it was, uh, <sighs> you know, she's. She a did, crazy she person. She didn't get a tip or something. I don't know. Well, Maybe a crazy person. <laughs> it is in Southern California, so that possibility is probably pretty strong. <laughs> but uh, it says a DoorDash driver in Southern California was seen on surveillance video using a customer's residential building lobby as a toilet after dropping off an order. The building manager of a Brentwood apartment building was contacted by a resident in the building saying that there was feces all over the lobby oh, of the 19 unit building when the building manager checked the surveillance video she was shocked to see a doordash delivery driver using a trash can in her building's lobby to take a dump That's oh my saying. god all right not my words this is fox 11 <laughs> this is so disgusting <laughs> <laughs> She said, what I saw, I could not unsee. I was flabbergasted at what I saw. Lisa Stanley, who was the DoorDash customer for the delivery, told Fox 11, she let it go. You know what they say, when you gotta go, you gotta go. And boy, did she ever. <laughs> <laughs> you're four steps away from outside where there's a bush or your car, or I don't know, but not in the lobby of the Brentwood apartment building. Obviously, they go on and say, you know, this is a health issue. So far, uh, when she contacted DoorDash support through the app to alert them to what happened, the company sent her a response saying in part, thank you for your patience and I hope you're doing well. We do not condone this type of action and are currently investigating this with the information provided. 
Oh my god. Uh, so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> But what's the first question? I mean, the but most why? obvious. <laughs> Just, like, but why? That's the main question. Right? But why? Oh. Well, was there not a lobby restroom? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Like, you would think. Maybe oh this apartment God. complex foregone the lobby uh, restroom at their own... Uh, <laughs> despair. Maybe they just told her, like, restrooms are for tenants only. Yeah. And she's like, hey, I'm just going to use this. And yeah. Uh, gross. That's uh, all Jen, I have to Jen, say. Jen, <laughs> Jen just says gross. I say gross. <laughs> my question is just... And I'm glad that's not a Florida man. It's a California woman, so... <laughs> yeah, California. So that's a California woman. Yeah, so not only not from Florida, but also not a man. So... <laughs> Uh, Take that, California. Wow. What a find, Rob. <laughs> you know, I couldn't resist this one. Uh, I heard that, and I was like, that'd be, a, that'd be a good one for the show. And I knew you'd be grossed out, so. Yep, well, you, you, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I guess you'll have to stay tuned for updates on this one. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can go on Fox 11, Fox LA actually dot com and, and read it yourself and watch the video if you want uh, pass on the video <laughs> you pass i'll it's pass a hard on the pass. video <laughs> yeah i you know i watched it and, you know it's about what you expect yeah so. <laughs> oh man um anyway <laughs> well that was a great story <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, thanks, Cole, for having us here today. I'm just glad we got a chance to catch up with you and hear about everything you're doing for yeah. the community and for the holidays. Do you have any uh, Thanksgiving plans or anything? Uh, I actually headed up to Birmingham next week to, to visit my parents. Um, she wanted all the kids, grandkids together to have a big Thanksgiving dinner. So Aww. up there, hopefully watch the Lions win on Thanksgiving. I haven't yeah. seen that in about a decade. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. So do you get cooked for, or do you do the cooking when you go up there? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of cooking on uh, Wednesday. My parents want to do some wings, so I'm going to do a new, actually, garlic parm recipe I'm working on, so I'm going to do it up there for them. Uh, then I got um, a few of the uh, specialty sauces I've done here. I've bottled up. I'm going to take up there so they can try and stuff like that. Because, um, I mean, my parents have been one of my biggest supporters on what I do, and very cool and they, they love it i mean they have a lot of inspiration to why i do what i do um then the only thing i'm going to be doing thanksgiving morning is get up i'm going to make uh my grandmother's biscuits um then sit down watch some football have some beers and some liquor and eat a lot of turkey Aww. yeah so that sounds good take a nap yeah while well, your lines are losing uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's my figure will be a little bit different this year <laughs> Maybe as long as Jared Goff's not our starter. Yeah, oh, well, he's horrible. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, much deserved rest for you. Because you work really hard, so that's good. Minus the biscuit and wing cooking, but... Uh, I actually volunteer to do all of it, so... Uh. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I mean, even at, uh, my wife, our uh, dinner rehearsal, I actually did the cooking for the dinner rehearsal. Like, cause <gasps> we had it outside of our dad's bar in Ohio, and I volunteered to do the cooking. So I was growing hamburgers, hot dogs, and all that. Oh, my so god! I enjoy do what I do, so I mean, it's fun. Well, that's why you guys do so well here. That's awesome. What yeah. about you, Rob? Any Thanksgiving plans? I'm going to do the same thing. Watch the Lions lose and get <laughs> fat on turkey. <laughs> that's about it. Drink beer. Aw, well. You know, I might have to get some, uh, some, some of that peanut butter uh, whiskey. I try I try and smoke it. Like, can I borrow like one of those domes <laughs> and then show me how to smoke it? Because I haven't figured that part out. I, I mean, there, there's numerous ways. I see people they actually have little sear planks at home and they just put their glass on top of that. Because I mean, that's the way we used to do it, but it just didn't give enough aroma to actually like the way the dome does. And in the next few minutes, I'm actually gonna make one up to show y'all can see the whole presentation of it. I mean, uh, you see the presentation. You have not. Yeah, I haven't so. seen it. Oh, awesome. Well, don't set your house on fire, Mom. <laughs> I'm excited Just for that. Trust the experts. <laughs> yep. I'm going to get the, the full scoop on that. Yeah. Aw. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks, Cole, for, thank you for the time. And we're excited. December 1st is the Tot Toys for Tots. Ugly Sweater or Night. The ugly Sweater Night. And then the Toys for Tots starts when? 
Uh, it's already going on now. We already have some people who've already done it. Um, but it's from here to December 10th. Okay. And December 1st is a big thing. It's just get everybody out and in the giving mood. So. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you heard it. You're from the man himself, the, the creator behind the uh, kitchen counter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, come in December 1st. Help support Fat Rabbit. Come in anytime. Come in before that just to enjoy some, some wings. Uh, and so, what is it? The uh, pretzel sticks and mm. tots. Definitely get your tots yep. for free because you brought a toy in. Remember, toy tot. All right. Easy to remember. Yeah. yeah. And thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you at the Fat Rabbit. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. Sure make me look fat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.